practice addition and subtraction, two-digit numbers, lesson 8.10. We have learned many ways to add and subtract. We can make a 10 if we need to add 9 plus 4. We can break the 4 into a 1 and a 3 and give that 1 to the 9 to make a 10. Then we can add 10 plus 3. That's equal to 13. We can add and subtract tens. If we need to add 20 plus 40, that's two tens plus four tens. That makes six tens. That's equal to 60. We can add the ones, then add the tens. If we need to add 31 plus 15, we can add three tens and one one and one ten and five ones. We can stack them. We add the ones, one plus five is six. We can add the tens. 3 plus 1 is 4. We have 4 tens and 6 ones. That's equal to 40 plus 6, which is equal to 46. We can use a 100 chart to count on or count back. We just learned that in the last video. If we need to add a 10, we just go down to the next row. If we need to take away a 10, we go up a row. We can draw a picture, and we can use counters and models also. So let's add or subtract, and let's use the place values. We start with the ones. Notice that it's a plus, so this one's an addition problem. Zero plus seven. When we add zero to a number, it stays the same, so that's seven. Now we add the tens place. Seven plus one is equal to eight. It's equal to 87. Let's try this one. Three plus one. That's three and one more. That makes a four. Two plus six. We start with the larger number, six, and count on two, six, seven, eight. That's equal to 84. 34 plus 20. We start with the ones, four plus zero. We're adding a zero, so the four stays the same. Three plus two in the tens place. That's a five. It's equal to 54. We can also subtract with the place values. We start with the ones, nine minus, notice there's a minus sign, so we know it's subtraction. Nine minus one is eight, it's one less. Six minus three, we can start with six and count back three. Six, five, four, three. That's equal to 38. We start with the ones. We add the two ones and the three ones. That makes five ones. Then we move to the tens place. Four plus three is equal to seven. It's equal to 75. We add, starting with the ones, it's an addition problem, so we're adding seven, and two more is seven, eight, nine. Four and one more is a five. In the tens place, we have 59. 58 minus 21, it's subtraction. We're going to do 8 minus 1, so that's 1 less than 8, it's a 7. 5 minus 2, we have 5 tens and we need to take away 2 tens. We can count back, starting with the 50 right here, and count back 2 tens. 1, 2, it puts us at 3 tens, 30. Because of the 1s, the answer is 37. The difference is 37. 6 plus a 0. When we add a 0, the number stays the same. So it's still 6. 8 plus 1 is a 9. We have 96. 52 plus 24. We add the 1s. 4 plus 2 more is 6. 5 plus 2 more is 5, 6, 7. We have seven tens and six ones. We have 76. Here we have 26 plus 30. That means we have 26 plus three tens, doesn't it? So we can count on from tens. 26, 36, 46, 56. We counted on three tens. Here, we're going to count back two tens. 20 is two tens. 
we can start at the 67 and count back two tens. 67, 57, 47. Here, we're going to count back by four tens. We start with 96 and count back four tens. 96, 86, 76, 66, 56. Here, we have addition. We have 48 and we're going to count on five tens. We can start with 48 and count on five tens. 48, 58, 68, 78, 88, 98. We can use repeated reasoning to add and subtract. That means we can repeatedly add or subtract 10 or 1 to find the answer. We can use repeated reasoning and keep subtracting a 1 from this 14 until we've counted back 5 times, 5 1s. 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. We kept subtracting a 1 until we subtracted 5 of them. We can use repeated reasoning and we can count on 10s. We start at 20 and count on two 10s. 20, 30, 40. Two more 10s would be 40. We have 0 in the 1s place and 2 plus 2 in the 4 is 4 in the 10s place. This is 40 and 10 less is 30, and 10 less is 20, and 10 less is 10. If we do it with place value, 0 minus 0 is 0, and 5 minus 4 is 1 in the tens place, we're left with 10. 18 plus 4, we can start at the 18, and we can count on four ones to add. We'll keep adding a 1 four times until we find the answer. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Tim has five more hats than Emma. Emma has 12 hats. How many hats does Tim have? Well, we know he has five more than Emma. Emma has 12, so Tim has five plus 12. We need to add the 5 plus 12 to know how many hats Tim has. 5 plus 12, in the ones place, we can start with the 5 and count on 2, 5, 6, 7. We have 7 in the ones place. And then, there's no 10s here, there's just a 1, so that drops down. That's 17 hats. Tim has 17 hats. Bob ate some donuts. Then he ate seven more. Now he ate 17 donuts. How many donuts did Bob eat first? So it didn't tell us. It just said he ate some donuts. Then it did tell us he ate seven more so that he ate 17 in all. How many did he eat at first? We can write an addition sentence. Some number of donuts plus the seven more is equal to the 17 that he ate in all. We can also write it as a related subtraction sentence. 17, the total he ate, minus the 7 more he ate is going to equal what he ate at first. We can do 17 minus 7 using place value. 10, we have 1 10 and 7 ones, and we want to take away 7 ones. 7 ones minus 7 ones makes 0 ones. We took them all away, there's 0 now. 110 minus nothing keeps us at the 110. So that means he ate 10 donuts at first, then he ate 7 more, and that's how he ended up eating 17 altogether. See? 20 plus 25 is equal to 45. We need to write two more ways to get a sum of 45. 
So a clue is that it says a sum. That means it's going to be addition sentences. We need to write two addition sentences to get a sum of 45. So what other ways could we add numbers to get 45? There's 20 and 25. What if we gave one of the tens from the 20 to the 25 and made it a 35? And if we took that 110 away from the 20 and gave it to the 25 to make it a 35, that means it's one less. So instead of a 20, it's a 10. So 10 plus 35 would be equal to 45. Can you think of some other ways that we could add numbers together to make it a 45 for a sum? We could break it up into a 40 and a 5. Four tens and five ones. Four tens would be 40, and the five ones, that would equal 45. Did you think of some other ways to break it up so that the sum would be 45? Our next lesson is order length, lesson 9.1. We're going to order objects by length, by how long they are. That's a new chapter. Keep practicing your addition and subtraction facts so that you get fast and good at the, doing them. And I'm really proud of you, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.